As I said last week, the hardest theistic arguments to counter aren't the ones that argue that a god or gods are real. The fact that gods aren't real pretty much nails all of those arguments to the wall. The hardest ones instead are the arguments along the lines of, even if it's false, religion X still accomplishes thing Y and thing Y is beneficial. Now, you can make the argument that these kind of considerations don't matter. And if you don't want to, I'd be happy to make that argument on your behalf. Either religion is true or it isn't. And if it's a lie, being a useful lie doesn't rescue its social value. But if we want to refute religion culturally instead of just logically, we still have to reckon with those types of questions, right? So here's another one that I want to tackle this week. And it's probably the most popular pro-religious argument that you hear among learned folk. In fact, it's the one generally invoked if and when you go looking for the evolutionary root of religion, and that is, of course, that religion aids in societal cooperation. The shared beliefs and rituals of religion reinforce a sense of us-ness that encourages groups to work together to achieve goals that would otherwise be impossible. Religion is the glue that holds cultures together, and, and there's definitely truth in that. It almost certainly is the reason that humans around the world kept inventing and reinventing religion. But just because something evolved to do a job doesn't mean it does it well. The human eye evolved to see, but that didn't stop it from being upside down and backwards. These days, we can achieve the same amount of societal cohesion by eating at the same fast food places and watching the same movies. We don't really need an artificial system of us-ness the way our early hominid forebears might have. Of course, the more conservatives rebel against popular entertainment over culture war bullshit, the less we can count on that. But the same process weakens religion's ability to do that shit even more. So it's not like it's even a handy backup plan. But luckily, we already have a backup plan, and it works better than religion ever did. And interestingly enough, it's the same thing that supplanted and surpassed religion in virtually every other field of human needs. Science. I mean, here's the dirty little secret about religion's value as a communal glue. It can only define an us in opposition to a them. That's all it does. You see all these statistics that show that religious people are more charitable than atheists, right? But what they so often fail to mention is that that charity extends only to other people in their group. Christians in America will donate more to, say, Christians in China than atheists will, but atheists will donate more to Muslims in Gaza than Christians will. It's why Christians do better than atheists when it comes to donating to charity, and atheists do better than Christians when it comes to supporting policies that would permanently fix the issues, creating all the need for charity in the first fucking place. But as ever, where religion fails, science succeeds. Now, don't get me wrong, science has plenty of blood on its hands in terms of creating us's and them's but it at least allows a plausible universal goal, the advancement of knowledge. You don't have to be an us for that to matter. You don't even have to be a human for that to matter. I, I was thinking about this last week. I was reading a book about the transit of Venus back in 1769, right? That's the one where astronomers the world over try to definitively measure the distance between Earth and the sun by observing the transit from all different latitudes and then comparing notes. And it's it's a fascinating story. I'll, I'll probably do a Citation Needed episode about it or something because, of course, it was way harder to get people all over the world with precision equipment back in 1769. It was way harder to coordinate. It was way harder to compare notes afterwards, but it happened. Countries that were at war contributed together to this grand scientific enterprise. And as often as it's faltered along the way, ever since then, science has been the focus of these grand cross-cultural endeavors. Whether we're talking about mapping the human genome or crunching the data from the LHC or building a space station bigger than a football field, these are things that you need international cooperation for. And they're things that don't benefit anybody unless they're shared with everybody, right? What fucking good is it to learn the distance between the earth and the sun and then keep that knowledge to yourself? The very pursuit demands it be open. So yeah, look, religion was a useful cultural glue. Evolution has testified to that. But you know what else was useful? We're fucking rock hammers. We've moved on as a species. What we need now are systems that can glue cultures to one another, an us that doesn't demand to them. And when it comes to the ability to do that, nothing else has ever come close to science. <laughs>